you guys see the headline, and I'm going to be honest, I've been having a hard time calming down. <sighs> I'm a little nervous. So here's the thing. Go to the timestamps down below and if you want to jump right to the news. Because uh, before I get to it, I, I, I need to talk this out. Right? We, we, we need to have a conversation here. It's very rare throughout my entire you know career here on YouTube. Only been full-time for a little over a year, but been obviously covering Nintendo news here. Pretty much the entire Switch generation. Not at the beginning, but you know, about halfway through 2017 and moving on forward, that's how we got to where we are today. And there's been a few rare times over the last six years that I have been a source on things, an actual source for real news verifiable sort of stuff things like when we've had some skews from gamestop or leaked posters from gamestop that we've been able to first post to the internet before anybody else and because of that get linked to a whole bunch of places now today i don't think this video is going to lead to me getting linked at a whole bunch of places because i don't have like a tangible physical piece of thing to hand to you guys today not yet anyways could be changing next week but we're about to talk about something that has me not hyping responsibly at all. In fact, hyping irresponsibly. What if I were to tell you that there's a chance, just a chance, that Nintendo Switch 2 is revealed next week in a direct? But besides that, set that aside. That's just a chance. What if I were to tell you that because of what I've been told today, I now know pretty much beyond a doubt, the Nintendo Switch 2 will be revealed no later, no later than March. And look, we've had all the speculation, we've had the rumors, we had the Gamescom stuff, saying March might not mean anything, but this is something more tangible to me, something I firmly believe uh, because of where it came from. And it's somebody who, man, they've proven themselves to me time and time again. Pretty much any story you've ever seen, my channel get linked to at other YouTube channels and other places, especially when it comes to GameStop, was because of this source. They have a proven track record with me, and I am so excited right now. Let's first dive in, though, because you don't have to just rely on what I have to say and what I've been told, because I obviously can't reveal who my source is, but we can actually look at something publicly. First, let's hop on over to Family Boards, where a gold cartridge gamer put out there that he saw some chatter in a Discord. You're seeing it here right at the very top, this this stuff right here. He saw some chatter in a Discord about communications coming to GameStop about a new Nintendo console. Not sure, you know, unsure how true, but just sharing just in case. So yeah, the idea is obviously that this person has uh, been in this Discord server and heard that there's chatter happening at GameStop about a new Nintendo Switch 2 console. Then they go on uh, to answer a question that we can dive into here where uh, Cass Prov says, what do you mean communications coming? Like someone heard there are rumors coming about the new console or communication as in some internal thing within GameStop's retail system. And he said, my understanding is internal communication from corporate to retail. That's where the story began. And if that's all there was out there, honestly, I really wasn't going to make a, a, a video on that because, look, it's a bunch of hearsay. And unless I was on that Discord server, which I'm not, to get a hold of the individual saying this and asking for verifiable proof and stuff like that, that would have been it. But while I was reading this and then looking up some other news, that source I mentioned earlier who has been correct on everything with GameStop with me and gotten me featured at a lot of different places in the past because of the legitimacy of the information from GameStop, reached out to me independently and independently told me that they had heard themselves from GameStop that, yes, they need to be preparing for Nintendo Switch 2 pre-orders, or as they say, a new Nintendo system. Pre-orders that we all just call Nintendo Switch 2. Now, that is, in that of itself, wild to me. Because, look, the Nintendo Switch 2 hasn't been unveiled. But then again, pre-orders sometimes happen immediately after a system is unveiled, sometimes the following day, sometimes the same day. So, okay, let's say Nintendo gave them some leeway. So I had some follow-up questions, because here's the thing. 
While we've covered the Switch Lite launch and the Switch OLED launch, I've never actually covered the launch of a brand new Nintendo system. We did a little bit of preliminary coverage of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. I also ended up doing reviews of those systems. They actually did pretty well. Uh, but again, there was a lot of hype around those launches as well, but I didn't cover those as in depth as I would say the launch of a new Nintendo platform. So I had a lot of follow-up questions because I do trust this person. I have no reason to not trust them. And in fact, they're going to be doing more digging and more research uh, over the coming days. And it's possible we have an update to the story either negatively or positively on Monday. So you're going to want to come back to Nintendo Prime here on Monday, maybe even over the weekend if, if, if I get the updates then, just to be sure that we're fully up to date and fully transparent with you on what's going on. Now, here's the thing. We obviously have this public statement to go off of. We now have the, my private statement, but I had the follow-up questions and I wanted to know how much leeway do say a store manager or a regional manager even uh, get when it comes to brand new unannounced system launches? Like what, what was the procedure with Switch? What was the procedure with the Xbox One and the Xbox Series and the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5? Like what, what, what typically is it? And he said, it's typically one week. That is why there is a chance this thing is unveiled in their direct because it's Friday. One week is Friday next week. Pre-orders could be up. Now, he did note that it's roughly a 30% chance, you know, maybe a one in three, that it's actually revealed next week because obviously uh, the managers are never really told the exact days of reveals and all of that. Uh, that's how they prevent this stuff from leaking out. But what's really fascinating to me is just hearing that they're even talking to regional management or whatever about preparing for pre-orders for this new Nintendo system. Because here's the thing. Until now, it's just been a bunch of, trust me, bro, I think it's going to be revealed in March. I Look, I like to hype you responsibly, but a lot of things I talk about at this channel especially with Switch 2, I always have in the back of my mind, you know, Nintendo might not release this thing until, you know, September, November, which means they might not unveil it until June. And I kept it in the back of my mind that, well, we want it to be revealed at ASAP, that there's a realistic chance Nintendo really doesn't have to reveal it now, and they could wait until the summer, especially if this is a, you know, winter release. They don't need nine months of buildup, right? They, it would be nice. It would be typical, but they don't need it. They could wait until summer. But hearing that they're, you know, GameStop now, both in a public way and now to me privately, is preparing to take pre-orders, this really builds my hype. Well, even if it's not next week, and I'm not promising that this thing's being unveiled next week. If it is, I guess maybe you heard it here first. I don't know, but I'm not saying that that's going to happen. It's still speculation because we don't know how much, you know, just because the typical runs a week, this might not be a typical thing. Nintendo might be uh, informing corporate who's informing regional management because Nintendo wants to buy up all the advertising space at GameStop and just have posters and cardboard cutouts everywhere of their stuff. And they're letting them know that a bunch of that stuff might be arriving in the incoming weeks for a March reveal, and then obviously all of that. So it's entirely possible that they're being informed for reasons like that. The, the exact details weren't really told. So it's not like the regional management was told why they're being told now. That could be more information that comes next week. But the point I am just bringing out here is I am so excited because I now firmly believe with my whole heart that by the end of March, they're going to have the Switch 2 revealed. And this is no longer me just guessing. This is no longer me just hoping and dreaming. This is based on the fact that people I trust in the retail space are being told they need to prepare for pre-orders. And you don't prepare for pre-orders five months from a system being revealed. You prepare for pre-orders when something's happening next week or, you know, at most within the next month, which could mean the, up to the first week of March. I am... I've had a hard time calming down for this because, again, I've never covered a brand new Nintendo system launch ever. In my history on the internet, I've never really been a huge into covering that. It's always been about the games, the games, the games. And that might seem ironic to you guys with all the videos we've had on Switch Pro and Switch 2 and these hypothetical unannounced platforms. But personally, I've never actually covered the launch of a, of a new Nintendo system. 
you know, when the 3DS came out, I was in media. I was editor-in-chief at Zelda Informer, but I wasn't covering anything to do with the system until Ocarina of Time was revealed. And then we covered the Ocarina of Time 3D stuff. Okay, that's cool. And then you look at even the Wii U. I didn't really cover anything with the Wii U. I got it at launch and until the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD were coming to the platform. And then eventually 2014, when Breath of the Wild was revealed. Again, it was a Zelda website. I didn't really cover the launch of platforms. Even like way back in the day when the Wii came out and was launching with, you know, the, the, the Twilight Princess. What was fascinating back then is I didn't really cover the launch of Wii. I didn't talk about Wii Sports or even the motion controls. The only thing that really came up was like, hey, the world is flipped on Wii compared to GameCube, and I just wanted to note the differences between the two versions of Zelda. I didn't focus on the system itself and anything else coming, and you know, vaguely talked about things like Mario Galaxy, but it really wasn't related to Zelda, and that was what I was doing back then. So heading into this launch, and I mean, you can even think about Switch. Like heading into the Switch, we had the whole Breath of the Wild stuff. That was the complete focus at Zelda Informer, and then I left Zelda Informer. Uh, my final day was April 30th, 2016. Switch had already come out. Uh, we were just getting this YouTube channel really going, and I hadn't covered anything about the launch of Switch. In fact, I didn't really start making a lot of Switch videos until about halfway through the year, um, and that was getting hyped for things like Mario Odyssey. So this, to me, is an exciting time because, one, this is my first time as a content creator. I'm covering the launch of a Nintendo platform. Two, this is my first time as a content creator. I have became aware of inside information that this thing is going to be revealed sometime either this month or next month. And that, to me, is just something that I'm not sure that I fully grasp the gravity of all of this. Look, whether you like me or don't like me or think I overhype things or talk too much about rumors and speculation, and I'm going to note for all of you, you can't verify Anything I've said today uh, outside of the links we'll provide down below, but I, you know, that's my own private source. I can't give you guys information on them. You can verify, you know, in my channel history that I've gotten information from this source and that that information has panned out every single time. You can verify that, but you can't verify what this person said, right? It's just not going to be possible because you can't talk to them. But I, I just, I'm so excited, guys. I, Look, I'm a gamer first and foremost, so every time a new Nintendo platform comes out, I've been so hyped and so excited my entire life, but I've never been able to share that excitement with an audience. Like, I'm not kidding. When Wii U came out, man, I was at Walmart. I literally, it was a 24-hour Walmart. I was inside Walmart for nearly 14 hours, first in line, because I didn't have a pre-order for the damn thing. They only had three of them available for non-pre-order people. And I was first in line and got one. And I was so excited, but I had to have that excitement alone, right? It was just internal gamer excitement because I'm a gamer. And, and you guys have seen my raw passion and excitement over different game launches, whether it was Mario 3D All-Stars or Tears of the Kingdom or Mario Odyssey and Animal Crossing and even Smash. Even though I'm not that big into Smash, I was still pretty excited for the launch of that game. You guys have seen my passion come out in my content when I'm covering the games that I really, truly care about. But what you haven't seen is my passion for Nintendo platforms because so much of it just... So I'm getting emotional, but so much of it gets wrapped up in the rumor mill and like you're just doing this for clicks and views and reality is I do it because I'm excited. And this is the crap I was doing following the rumor mill. Talking with all this stuff, you can go ahead and ask Eric on the Nintendo Prime Podcast how many times I've talked to him about Nintendo rumors over the years long before I was ever on YouTube. It was such an exciting time for me. I love always talking about possibilities of future hardware and how excited I was for the GameCube back in the day and the DS and the Wii and the Wii U and the 3. I was so excited for all of these platform launches and really it was just me. And occasionally getting Eric involved in some of my hype. And now I get to do this with all of you. And it's starting to become real to me. Because this isn't a rumor for me. This is information I'm privy to. And because of it, this just became real to me. 
this isn't, you know, games, you know, developers I knew at Gamescom or anything, haven't heard anything there. This isn't like, you know, uh, a random person who just emailed me or my local GameStop manager being cryptic to me that I've mentioned before. This is a trusted person. And I just, I'm excited. I'm emotional, but it's a happy emotion because I get to enjoy a system launch with all of you. We get to hype together. We get to build towards what Nintendo is doing next together. And now that I'm getting super excited over this system, I'm so excited for the games. Because the games are what make the systems exciting, right? The next Mario, the Donkey Kongs, the F-Zeros, the Metroid Prime 4s, whatever's coming our way. And even if Switch 2 isn't in the Direct next week, I'm always excited for Directs because of the software potential. <sighs> Thank you for being here on this journey with me. I'm uh, for, for all the rumors and everything else, it really truly culminates in what Nintendo is about to do this year. And I'm just, the fact that this just became real for me is just, oh, I can't contain it, man. We might have to go live. We might have to go live later just so I can gush about this stuff because I'm just, oh man, I'm so excited. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Chance. I'll catch you in the next video or maybe even a bonus live stream.